Tonight, NHL linesman Brian Murphy will be celebrating his 2,000th NHL game, becoming just the eighth official in NHL history to reach this milestone. Brian Murphy's 2,000th game in March 2019 was the culmination of more than three decades on the ice as an official in the NHL, a career that began as a youth and adult referee while attending the University of New Hampshire. In 1986, Murphy got his start as an NCAA linesman, officiating Hockey East games, eventually working Beanpot, Hockey East, and NCAA Frozen Four championship games. Having also worked the 1986 and 87 Olympic festivals, Murphy caught the eye of NHL officiating scouts, and by October of 1988, he made his NHL debut in Washington. And we're ready to go with hockey season 1988-89 here at the Capitol Center. There are the referees for tonight's game. Dave Newell working with linesman Gord Brusiker and 23-year-old Brian Murphy who is working in his first National Hockey League game tonight. By 1990, Murphy was promoted to full-time linesman, leading to more than 2,000 games. Come on, boys, let's go. Let's work hard. Come on only the second American to achieve that feat. That's a lot of games in a short period of time. Congratulations to Brian Murphy. Well, I imagine how many pucks he got hit with. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Murphy has had an incredible career. He even was a referee for 88 games, one of the few people to be able to do both. He has been reliable. He's had integrity. He's been the consummate professional, and we've been lucky to have him in the game. During his 32-year NHL career, Good! Murphy was also selected to work several marquee games, including the 1999 All-Star Game and the 2010 Winter Classic. You always knew that you could count on Brian to do an outstanding job when there was a really important game. Receiving the NHL's highest working honor, Murphy was selected to officiate nine Stanley Cup Finals and more than 300 playoff games. Brian Murphy who was a linesman, always refing big games during the playoffs. And I, I remember I, I probably gave it to him a handful of times over my career, wrong call, missed offside, missed icing, whatever it may be, but he was first class. He was a, always a, a real stand-up type guy. You don't ref over 2,000 games and be a linesman in the National Hockey League by accident. You're damn good at it, and, and he was damn good at it. <laughs> Murphy also officiated on the international stage, working the World Cup of Hockey in 2004 and 2016. Be bad, it's a penalty. Guys in the pucks in the zone. So he changed, he changed directional. And he also worked the 2010 Winter Olympics. Off the ice, Murphy was a member of the NHL Officials Association Executive Board from 1994 to 1999, and later the president from 2008 to 2015. In addition to the fact that he was respected by our teams and our players, he was also respected by his colleagues, which may be the highest form of praise. He worked harder to get ready for a game than most people back when we first started. And uh, even during the day, he'd have a wicked workout, and he'd come to the rink, whatever he needed to do to get his body ready. And then mentally, he was just laser focused every single night, and uh, just a real good teammate to work a game with. Having worked for three decades at USA Hockey officiating development camps, Murphy has also contributed to the future of officiating. Murph recognized from his early days how important it was once you got to the NHL to give back to the game. At a very early stage of his career, he was giving back to USA Hockey, a real testament to Murph. And now, joining the list of immortals who have left an indelible mark on the game of hockey in the United States, please welcome Brian Murphy to the United States Hockey Hall of Fame. <laughs> 